Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Of course I miss her. I miss her so much. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your... Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well, I... Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Happy hey, birthday, Paul, Sonny. I think Paul's gone soft on us. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to... Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Attention, what do you mean, everyone. Dork face here. Time to Happy birthday, the cake. Dork face. <laughs> Andy, wait. Oh no. Nice party, butthead. Now get lost before I have to make you cry. Simply mortified. Didn't I tell you to stop? <laughs> Good one, but us? nice. This party's pretty good, I guess, for a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. How's it going, pal? Having a good time? It wasn't easy Daddy, keeping this I a secret. Now go. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? 
As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Nonsense. People are... I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old... Sometime, Butch, Daddy. what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. You all right, son? What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. God, he really is a butthead. Oh, well. You can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Leave your all right, book, Butch. <laughs> Thanks for hey, coming, Sammy. Officer I know you were busy with nice the wire party, here, huh? fire. Everything's Can fine. It. I hope I've had it with you, nice Butch. Time. Your mother oh, is going to hear about this little incident. Jonas? What do you think? Fixed up again hey, John, how about the I'm not going to follow it anymore. You're bullying. Thanks. I'll send him right down. How's it going, pal? No, just remember, I'm keeping my eye on you. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Party, Mrs. Palmer. I help with the decorations, you know. Oh, really? They're Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course, run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. What are you doing down here, young man? If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? 